the beginning of October 2020, Ling and I realized a sad realization that we were coming to the end of our two year stay here in New Zealand as we were just three weeks away from the expiration date of our working holiday visa. This was the longest period that we've been away from our home in Montreal, so we were looking forward to a reunion. But the burning question at the back of our minds was, in this season of the pandemic, what kind of reunion would we be coming home to? What would Canada be like now in 2020? Certainly, it wouldn't be the same Canada we left in 2018. This would only be further highlighted by the fact that, in New Zealand, we've been enjoying the benefits of a virtually COVID-free country. So as you can see, in New Zealand, it's starting to get a lot warmer. Summer is just around the corner. So in us leaving New Zealand, that would mean that we would have to leave the Southern Hemisphere and, dry, and fly back to the Northern Hemisphere. Now, ideally, I wanted to avoid having back-to-back -back winners but the way things were looking, we were going to have to leave New Zealand at the beginning of their summer only to begin the beginning of a what I call real Canadian winter. You know, the type of Canadian winter that's five to six months long, minus 30 with wind chill, with 25 centimeters of snow overnight. But we accepted what we had to do. We knew that this day would come. So we uh, began preparation for our departure of New Zealand to head back home to Canada. So we posted our car and our camping gear online uh, for resale and we began to look for cheap flights back to Canada. One night, while I was on the New Zealand Backpacker Facebook group, an astonishing bit of news came up. A backpacker posted a link to an article published by the official government website of New Zealand. In this article, it was announced that working holiday visas would be automatically extended until June 2021 so long as you met these criteria. Number one, you were already in New Zealand. Number two, your working holiday visa expires between October 1st, 2020 to March 31st, 2021. And number three, you didn't have a visa application pending already. It just so happens that King and I were two of those 11,000 as our working holiday visas were expiring on the 20th of October. I couldn't believe this blessing from the New Zealand government, but I was still a bit skeptical. Why were they extending our visas automatically and free of application fees? Application fees range from between 280 to 500 New Zealand dollars. How desperate were they to keep us in the country? King got on the phone with Immigration New Zealand and sure enough, they confirmed that our visas would automatically be extended to what's called a Supplementary Seasonal Employment Visa. Given the current labor shortage crisis hitting the horticulture and viticulture industries, we would now be able to find employment exclusively within these industries. Before the pandemic, New Zealand relied on the 40,000 or so working holiday visa holders in the country at any one time to work on various forms for planting, pruning, harvesting, and packing. Despite this, there was still always a shortfall of workers, which would be then supplemented by migrant workers imported from nearby Pacific Islands, such as the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, and Fiji. But since New Zealand closed its borders to non-citizens back in March 2020, there hasn't been any fresh working holidayers coming in to replace those who left. Granting visas to overseas migrant workers has also become difficult, and now New Zealand has turned its attention to the 11,000 remaining working holiday visa holders currently in the country. It just so happens that King and I are two of those remaining 11,000, and the government cannot afford to lose us considering the orchards and vineyards are in dire straits, crying for a lifeline from the government. Much to our surprise, our family has encouraged our decision to stay longer in New Zealand, given how well the country has handled the pandemic. There will come a day where we come home to a more normal version of the home that we left two years ago, back in 2018. But in the meantime, we're just going to hang out here in New Zealand and enjoy it while the time lasts and while we've been given this extension on our visa because I see that as as a blessing as uh, as something that we hoped would happen and was granted to us I'll see you on the next one